Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a look-in on the sign of Scorpio. But keep in mind that these are general readings, so take what applies. If it applies, you know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info is in the box below. There's still time to get in on the contest to win a free one-hour reading, a free one-and-a-half, free half-hour reading. Get that out. Or a mystery healing box done by Crystal and myself. Make a $5 donation to this channel and you're in. So, Scorpio, let's see what's shaking with you. This far in June. Scorpio, no matter what you're trying to pull off, I feel like you're going to succeed. So, let's get into it. Bottom of the deck, yeah. You have the Aquarius card, also known as the Star card. A healing energy. A wish being fulfilled. Something going on behind the scenes, so to speak. Universe has uh, got something in store for you. I think so. Let's get into it. Scopes, we're going to start off with the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is about fast communication. Reciprocating communication. Now, whether this is face-to-face, -face, email, Skype, texting, what have you. And what's crossing to help or hinder is that to get the Queen of Wands. Now, Queen of Wands is um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is motivated, charismatic, you know, sexy. They're very passionate, but they're very motivated, like the go gets it done type of uh, energy here. So, Scopes, it seems to me like, you know, you're on the go to get something done. Or to have something. To acquire something. Now, in your foundation, you have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, uh, the apprenticeship card. You could be learning a new skill, a quality, a craft. could be working on you to make yourself a better person. But putting your nose to the grindstone and perfecting something. Now, Scopes, this could be communication about work, and you dive right into it. For some, maybe, but it seems to me like you are really working hard at something else. Because your crowning card here, Scopes, is the Ten of Pentacles. And this is like having it all. You know, working hard, here's your Eight. You have to acquire those Pentacles, and Ten... Being able to enjoy them. You know, bills being paid and having money left over. It's also about a family card. You know, being rich in that sense too. So that's what I mean, Scopes. But, you know, it's more than just about money that's, you know, driving you here. Or motivating you. It's, you have some sort of goal. That you're trying to reach. And I feel like, you know... You might feel like you're swimming against the tide a little bit. Because in your recent past, you have the king of swords. Now here's your Aries, not Aries, your Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Somebody who is, you know, about the facts, the figures, very analytical. Emotions take a back seat. Straightforward. Can be a little cold sometimes. And maybe this is, you know, your obstacle, Scopes, you know, that you have somebody, you know, that is taking the emotions and putting them in the back seat, Scopes, you're a water sign, you're about the emotions. You know, so air and water here, you know, 
it has to be some sort of medium here because going into your future, Scorps, you have the three of swords. It's heartache, it's a disappointment. You know, a lot of people will say this is, you know, third party interference. I don't look at it that way. You know, there's one heart, there's one hurt that two people feel. Scorps, maybe it's disappointing, you know, that you can't get through to an air like person. Or you have it in the past. And this is what you're up against. Because how people see you in your environment. Scopes, they see you as a six of pentacles. And this is the generosity card. The even exchange of give and take. You want to make sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving. And if this is what you're working hard on. It could be a relationship. You know, about getting that even exchange. You're up against it. But Scopes, you know, you're an amazing person. You're an amazing sign. You know, you don't take, you know, failure lightly if you fail at all. And you work, you know, and you work. And you work at something, you know, until there is a victory to be had or something does get justified. In your environment, Scopes, you have the Empress. Now, the Empress is known as a Libra or a Taurus. But see, there's a Zodiac sign behind her. She's a little bit of everything. I mean, come on. When you're the Empress, Queen of all Queens, you have to be practical, methodical, analytical, kind, nurturing. You know, passionate. And she births new ideas and she makes it a reality into the here and the now. So, Scorpio, I do believe that this is your energy overcoming this. Taking this situation and making it work to your benefit. Because in your hopes and in your fears, Scorpio, you have the Hermit, also known as a Virgo. But the Hermit is a seeker of knowledge. You know, he doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He gets it for himself. That way he knows it to be true. It is about isolation, seclusion. But the lantern in the card is his intuition that he's following, he's guiding him. And the hermit is not a lonely person. He chooses to be alone. Now, Scorps, I don't think that, you know, you want to be alone. I think that there is something here that you're trying to fix. And you've taken some introspection, you've taken some time, you know, to think about how to change this around. Because Scorps... I feel this is your energy of creating something and having it abundant, turning something around. Because you wish for it. I think the universe is helping you out here because your outcome card, Scopes, is the Ace of Wands. And here's the universe giving you that opportunity to see if you take it or not. It's a course of action, a brand new course of action. A new direction could be a new creative project, you know, that just gets you motivated. Scorps. It gets you into that place where you want to go get it done. With no delay. And I think you can bring this into the here and now. Scorps, I think you have it in the works. Because you're overcoming this. By being this. And props to you, Scorps. And because of that, the universe is giving you this. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.